be saying. Whoa, <laughs> that was so perfectly timed. <laughs> that was good, wasn't it? Recording in progress. Okay, okay brilliant. So um, why did we begin? I, I think thought we, we already begin. did. We didn't know we were chatting. This was this was um this is warm up chat. Really. Speak, uh, chatting don't count. It did count. It was good. Chat. It did. It was good. Let's go. So, a conversation between mother and son. This is, and um, really, we want this to be sort of open as a conversation to with everybody. Really, what happened was what happened was what happened was. Um, <laughs> Ilias and I started doing some, well I started doing some reels I'm I'm a coach okay so so I'm pre predominantly online and uh, so I was creating some reels for my Instagram reels for my it's just gonna laugh and at then me you get the news and you and um what I noticed was that when Ilias joined me on a reel we got ridiculous views so I was going from like 200 people watching to 42,000 for the first one that we did so we had this realization that for some reason people liked the two of us together mm. um and so we thought about what we could possibly do and we decided we'd do a podcast we started the podcast and it was really successful. We had a lot of listens, which was very surprising to me. Not what to was it like? How many? <laughs> I don't even know the statistics, to be honest. And uh, no, and I don't either. No. Um, because it's it's uh, then we're looking at tangent. Tangent. Oh. Um. So what? What did I get to? You then have to forgive the um the tangents and and also forgive the the losing of threads because we will continue to do that you've just done it <laughs> i know you've just done it i know so so yes yeah, so Ilias joined me on some reels we decided to do the podcast and then we had so many um emails and messages from all sorts of people people with adhd young people people at school people at college people who are parents of people living with adhd yeah I'm just stopping because you wanted to say something. No, I didn't. Okay. Um, mm. And so we decided then that we would start the the um, the Facebook group so that we could really have some conversations because what we're finding, particularly on TikTok, is you're only allowed like three lines or something. And then you have a comment. <laughs> Go on. A what? what? On, on TikTok, you can say like a few words. And then you can't like, so you can't go, oh, yeah. And then you start typing and it says, eh, eh. It does do that. Yeah. What, yeah. what are you in the caption? This is really nice because <laughs> I've got some backup. When yeah. Say, yeah, no, actually, she's right. I mean, <laughs> like, but it's, it, you, you're writing and it won't, I don't know how many characters you get, but not a lot. And then you'll have to do another comment. I see people doing like one or two, two of two, three of three, whatever. I'm just like, oh, mm. yeah, it's crazy. So is there, there's a character limit. And so you can't really actually say much before it's you can't say any more in a See? comment. See, I'm, I love um... Alice. Alice is going to come on all the podcasts now. <laughs> like, you can back, back me up. Um, so yes, well, I need some. I need. Go on. I need. A... Oh yeah, I. Right. <laughs> I think you're over excited. No. So, so the Facebook group was a place where we could have better conversations. And we we have we're not there yet. We're not there. <laughs> I think we're you're overexcited. What? We're not there yet. Um, I think that it could be a really good space. But really, this is exciting because I really want to hear. Elise is just going to giggle the whole. No, week. I'm giggling because like I thought we'd be here all professional, and you're here like. <laughs> <laughs> but this is how I do life. It's great. No, I love it. Yeah, no, this is me being professional. Yeah. It, it doesn't get better than this. You reckon? No. All right. All right, let's go. So uh, so what we would like to do this evening is just have some general chit chat. Um, you can ask questions. So obviously you've got the chat function, but you can also come on mic, which would be lovely, um, and talk to us speak to us about your experience of ADHD um, we've got such a mixture in terms of people who are experiencing it as well as parents who are looking after people or looking after people who are parenting um, kids with ADHD but also often what I'm finding and conversations that I'm having a lot is um, women who have a son or a daughter with ADHD 
going through the process of having that diagnosis and then coming to the realization that they may also have ADHD and have lived with it all their life and having this real sort of light bulb moments, which I think it's fair to say is, is me. Um, and everything sort of made sense. So let's start with a little bit of um, fingers on keypads <laughs> and ask you, what so one thing that you think is a is a big struggle with regard to ADHD one struggle and then one thing that you huh? <laughs> one thing that you really celebrate that you think is like awesome in terms of the ADHD brain so if you could on your on your um on in the chat on your keyboard yeah, on your keyboard <laughs> Um, and Ilias will entertain you while you're doing that. Oh, well, what? I don't know. What will I do? I just put you on the spot. Oh, thank you. That's the only thing you can do to make me not actually do anything. <laughs> I know. If you were to just go, okay, I would have ended up ADHD and then doing something ridiculous. But because you said entertainment, and now I'm just like, oh. I'm sorry I did it now. I tell, you, I tell you what, I did think I was going to be doing this on my own. I'm really worried you're going to break your neck doing that. You told me to entertain. Um, so starting at seven o'clock and it was like six, I don't know, nearly 6.40. Didn't know where Elias was. What? I wasn't listening for the last 20 no, seconds. No, I know. I was worried about where you were, whether I was going to be doing a conversation with mother and son, but just it being just mother. What? Because I wasn't here. Yeah. Why would I do that? I don't know. Why? You think I don't. This is a thing. I absolutely knew you would be here in my heart, but I had a little bit of a fear going on. Oh no, I wouldn't miss it. I was just like, oh I don't want to stay because we were drawing, we were doing some epic stuff. We were just like dancing and breathing and stuff. Breathing is great. I love breathing. I can't lie. Oh man, breathing is incredible. Yeah. Say more. Say more. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> Go on, tell us about what you were doing. Tell us about breathing. Okay. Um, this is really bizarre. Breathing. Hmm. I like breathing because it brings you back to the present moment. And being, oh, don't you be calling me now. Sally, no. So come, coming back to the present moment. Yes. <laughs> Taking a nice deep breath is is it can help a lot if you just you know maybe you're fidgeting or your brain's doing whatever the hell it does you've got like five different trains of thoughts going on at the same time and then there's just music playing somewhere in there you can just go like and it just is amazing that's annoying that's annoying that is there's going to be a major distraction i'm going to put the phone outside that's what i'm going to do not outside the house <laughs> Right, so now I've got rid of her. Welcome to my. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, we had a comment on TikTok. Oh no! It was so funny about the old woman. The you need to get woman. rid of the old woman. If you had, <laughs> <laughs> if you had your own channel, I'd oh, be talking of... about you. Yeah. How rude. How rude, I know. They, but the thing is, all they were complimenting me and then talking rubbish about her. And I, oh, like, someone was so like, someone commented, replied to that comment saying, Oh, don't call a mate if you're going to disrespect this mum, which is very funny, to be honest. You can't. Really, funny. You, can't you know something funny when you're saying it. The, the average age of TikTok users is like 12, so everyone's old. It's disgusting. So I can't believe they're like. <laughs> Man, social media makes me angry. Yeah, I hate it. Love absolutely it, horrible it's so people don't realize it's that bad for you but it's a parasite like it's it's a chemical addiction and they're giving it to 12 year olds yeah that's wrong that's horrible that is oh that man gets my blood boiling it does i absolutely hate how these oh man these corporations are evil so evil you wanted to talk about social media as one of the things that you you struggle with so we've, yeah. we've we've asked these questions and we're going to come to them in a minute there are some answers here that we should go through that we definitely should um but I would just wanted to say while we, while we while we held on to that for a second that that um, 
when I asked you how would you answer those questions like well one thing that you struggle with and one thing that you 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 really celebrate one of the things that you said that you struggled with was social media Mm. it is a struggle because it is it is just really addictive because like I find I'll go in these cycles of going oh social media is too much of a problem for me right now I'll delete it so I'll get rid of Instagram Snapchat TikTok. I'll keep TikTok because I need to post, but I really haven't been doing that in a while. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Nah, there goes the train of thought. Oh, I want to help you. <laughs> oh, I couldn't even remember what I was saying. Yeah. Yes. I'll go in a cycle of deleting social media and then mm-hmm. I'll be like, oh, I need to download it because what if this it, oh, it will always be a specific person like I'm doing a song with or just collaborating or just like even something I'll be like oh this person might have messaged me I don't have the number I'll download Instagram so I could just get people's numbers and that's problem solved mm-hmm. anyway I'll download Instagram and I'll watch like one or two videos and I'll be like oh this is fun it's great because I haven't been on been on it in times so the dopamine it's given me is through the roof so I'm there like ah, ha, ha, just laughing at every video and then it gets to a point where it's just like, oh, and now I'm just doing this to make time not exist. Like, I'll use it as like, oh, man, like, I'm doing something for two hours. I don't want to do anything until then. I'll just scroll and it'll be gone in five minutes. You know what I mean? And that's not a healthy way. <laughs> not a healthy way. Mm-hmm. And, it, and it's funny how, not funny, but it's interesting oh, to watch you. <laughs> it's interesting to watch that cycle where you... Well, you see a difference. Well, well, I see it happen where you you on social media and we're like, oh, because we get all the friend requests like on Instagram and Facebook. It's like, oh, Elias is back. Amazing. <laughs> and then, you and, you know, you'll start sharing some really great stuff, whether it's photography or music or whatever. Um, and then you're gone. Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's completely gone. Um, well, the thing is, well, every time I come back, I come back better. Do you? Yeah. I've, I've, people have said that to me. They're like, oh. I've noticed you'll come on, you'll release some tunes for like a month or two and then you'll disappear for like two or three months. But every time you come back, you just, I'm a different person. And I've read that made me happy that day. That's why I remembered it because I try to be. What's the point of it? Good. Yeah. Should we have a look at some of these comments? Yes, we shall. So um, we've got my partner has ADHD. The one thing I find hard is communication. And the great thing is his creativity and massive idea. Oh, I think we can really relate to that. And hey. in terms of- hello. <laughs> um, and so in t- hi, Shauna. So in terms of communication, are you are you on mic? Did I hear someone say hello? Shauna. Maybe it wasn't. Um, <laughs> so uh, it would be really good to know what sorts of things in terms of communication that in particular that that that's a struggle because um we may be able to help I'm not saying that we we definitely will and the other thing to say is that we are not experts at all we are just you know Ilias has ADHD has lived with it all his life and I've parented him not necessarily knowing he had HD (laughs) this new thing I've discovered um (laughs) for, for quite some time um yeah so uh, um, and just also to give... <laughs> you're just gonna love it this is so hilarious no the thing is i would be doing just uh, i don't want to say just as bad that means like i'm saying you're doing bad but i would be doing exactly the same if i was speaking as much as you i'm just not yeah com- com- confident i don't know i'm confident i'm just not there's nothing going on in my head so i don't actually have anything to say i'm just kind of like dinosaurs and clouds and stuff you know? I-, I like dinosaurs and clouds yeah so anyway, the, oh look, Billian has joined us as well. How amazing! So, so in terms of uh, Shauna, it'd be lo- I mean, you don't have to, but it would be be, be great to sort of understand a little better around communication because certainly it's something that we have struggled with. I have struggled with. Going on. I will own it. You what? The fact that we struggle like, right here now. Oh, we're right. struggling with communication. Oh, right. <laughs> um. Oh, I get it. That's oh, I understand. Right, yeah. Okay. Good. Penny's dropped. Yeah. Um, okay, and Bianca says not finding things as easy as other people, being different. Yeah, okay. Is Bianca here? Have we look yeah, there she is. There she is. Hi Bianca. Yeah, so that sort of being different. Are you able to sort of say anything about that, Ilias, in terms of how why have you got a yoga mat? Jesus. <laughs> in terms of feeling different. But what? But because of having ADHD. Feeling different. Yeah. Well, I think because the world is cut out for neurotypical people. 
So you do feel different. You're like, oh, why aren't I normal? Why aren't normal? That's a disgusting word. I hate that word. Normal shouldn't exist. Normal doesn't exist. It doesn't need to. It doesn't. There's no point in normal. Oh, write that down. <laughs> no, okay. po- no point in normal. That's cold. What was I saying? Oh, yeah, feeling different. I don't know. You kind of feel like you let people down, but there's nothing you can do about it. Oh, God, so it's horrible. Much. I can really relate to that as well. This um sort of uh, expectations from others that you will be able to do certain things that in a certain time um, frame and not being able to to deliver yes yeah so uh, and that that's something that I hear a lot as well you know and it's interesting how I'm starting now in my coaching practice to see people because I'm doing some work doing this stuff in ADHD that I'm that people are coming in and talking to me about this stuff um and it's yeah it's it's a it's a really big theme I think um Bianca, you also say the positive is is your creativity. So is there a particular thing in terms of your creativity that you love, that you, that's your thing? I think it says his creativity about her partner. Oh, yes, yeah, sorry. No, it's my daughter, actually. Oh. So um, I've got a 13-year-old daughter who's recently been diagnosed with ADHD and autism. Mm-hmm. So I was having to think, we were having to think about what she would say. And I think they're the things that she would say and we see looking at her as well yeah yeah absolutely and 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 how are you finding it because it's it's sort of a new diagnosis did you say yes yeah uh it's been about a month I think so yeah not long not long um I think I struggle with the fact that I'm also a health professional and I've missed it for such a long time um and you think, why did I, why did I not see this? And I think I have got to accept that I don't think I really knew what ADHD looks like in girls. And I just didn't look for those things. Oh, have we frozen or is everyone else frozen? Everyone else is frozen. Oh, man. Oh, good. Just keep doing this. God. Keep oh. doing this. Keep doing this. Oh, 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 yes. Phew. Oh, my goodness. I was about to cry. <laughs> Okay, thank you, um, Bianca. And and I totally get that, you know, that's exactly me. And um, and I think this is a really key thing. It's like, what I wished with Ilias is because, because I was flagging things. I was saying, I'm not sure this is, you know, this is a bit different and I'm not sure what this is. And it's not until you do the research and you understand what ADHD is that you can then take him to the right place to say can we screen for ADHD it's a bit like you know going to the doctors and saying right I definitely think there's something wrong with my spleen (laughs) can we screen that part of me that's not how it works is it you go to the GP and you say oh these are the things that we're seeing what do you think's going on but actually what we got back is wow not much really I don't you know I think it's normal and I think you know at at school as well you know school was an absolute nightmare just being told oh he's fine he's doing really well or he's just a boy or you know all these different reasons for things that we were seeing and thinking I'm not quite sure this is quite right I think that we might need some help here so um, how old's your daughter, Bianca? 13. 13, you said that. Well yeah, done. She, she is 13 and she isn't actually in education at the moment because she finds school so difficult. Right. right. That's how it is. That's how it is. <laughs> school is so pointless. I hate school. It's, oh man. Okay, maybe school is not pointless. That's not That's not really a good message to be giving out to people. But. Well caught, but if, yeah. If you have adhd brain or even autism brain like most of my friends have autism and it's the same as them like school oh man now i've left school i've realized it's completely like i needed none of it none of it at all maybe the routine was good but like the routine was also not good in the sense that like, school was stupid yeah so and that's one of the things that, that i noticed a lot is that the routine was really great so having a school routine certainly worked Although early mornings isn't great, is it? It's probably all of you know. I feel like really at 10 years really old, I would have rather worked than gone to school. Right. And, the, and it's just this jumping through hoops constantly, having to jump through different the things. The way I see it, like there are, these, there are these hoops that you have to jump through, but why do you have to jump? Like no one's making you do anything. If, there's, if you want to get from here to here, yeah, 
and there's loads of hoops that you have to jump through here and I'm seeing just I can just walk across here why would I put why would I go through the effort of climbing through these hoops that I can I can just walk mm -hmm. and it'll be so much easier yeah is it I mean I think we probably all agreed that the system does not work for neuro neuro it doesn't work for anyone. brains I think there's a small section that it works for um but but a large set I mean it just doesn't and I, and I don't know what well we can't do anything about it right now can we so you just have to kind of create some sort of way to somehow get your child through it without too much being too damaged by a system that is incredibly damaging um and we've certainly experienced that that that's the story I think uh okay so thank you for sharing that Bianca more yeah. messages let me read this one okay we are super Sophie Bond this is says. Sophie here. <laughs> How's we doing? Right. We are super grateful for this chat. We have a six year old who we think, oh my the ADHD is strong with me today. Right, let me restart. We I'll put on my speaking voice. We are super grateful for this chat. We have a six year old who we think has it called Billy, that's cool. And a thirteen year old who is just discovering that he may have it, so both undiagnosed. We'd love to know where to go from here with them both from your experience and i think i have it age 43 just realizing through my children i mean that was like you yeah absolutely I thought that was good reading it was great reading and it was a brilliant reading and then um, yeah really similar similar story so just let me pick out um what how where we can help so we'd love what, to know where to go from here uh with them but so where to go from here with them both um um yeah i mean it's just I don't know. It's just so tricky, isn't it? It's just so tricky. It's so tricky to get, you know, sometimes you get a teacher who's awesome and we've experienced that. Sorry, but that's really distracting. <laughs> so we so we have had teachers throughout your whole journey and we've had like one teacher there and one teacher there who've almost been like... Um, they have been the dots that kept me going through it. Yeah. When realistically, every one of them should have been a dot kept me through it. But there was just like one a year yeah. that I like. Mr. Howe. What a G. Yeah. I remember once, yeah, Mr. Howe, such a nice teacher. But I remember he was telling one of the twats off in the back of the corner and something. And it, after everyone left, he was like, right, what are you doing? He booted a book across the room. I was like, yes, man. Let's go. It was, it was epic. Yeah. Some people just knew, didn't they, how to, how, how to talk. I mean, it's not that difficult. I think that's the other thing. That's what's so blooming frustrating is it's not difficult. Um, it's just about really well, not understanding, un <laughs> understanding how to deliver uh, ways to teach in a different way. And I think some of your teachers just really got it and were like, okay, look, we're not going to be able to fit you through this hoop. So we're going to, we're going to teach this using your hyperfixation. Isn't it? The, the thing is, though, like when teachers were like, oh, you can do the fanciest titles you want. You can do it all over the book. I'll be like, yeah, sick, let's go. Because then I was excited about the work. So then I would do it. Yeah. Because it sort of became enjoyable. I don't know why these teachers didn't get that. Just letting me do me would have got made their life so much easier. Yeah. They try and contain you. They're trying to trap you in this box. You're just like, and, and that's it. from a parental point of view that's really hard to fight for so when you're saying actually <laughs> oh. when they say to you he's not produced very much work there's only four lines of work and you look at his work and it's beautiful <laughs> it's illustrated it's got you know, the most beautiful writing and title and yes there isn't a, a two-page essay <laughs> to come because it would have taken a lot of time uh, to do the calligraphy for it however um it was just disregarded on, on many occasions just like they just want he hasn't it. produced the work or or you know having a big cross through some really beautiful <laughs> creativity that he'd, he'd done and then what would happen i know why you're laughing because then what would happen is he would get naughty <laughs> And then he would draw things that perhaps he shouldn't have drawn, but they'd be beautiful. <laughs> they'd be well, <laughs> they'd be artistic things that I shouldn't have drawn. I feel like if I weren't as good at it, I wouldn't have got in as much trouble for it. Because if you're drawing a penis on a table, yeah, if it's if it looks terrible, they're like, oh right, rub it off. But if it's so if it's so detailed, they're like, how how have you actually recreated it so actually? But they're just they're just in shock. They're like, right, no, this kid can't be let out. Don't let him anywhere. <laughs> it's really true. Oh. So I no, honestly, I don't know how helpful this chat is because. <laughs>
it's real that's all I can say it's real and it's honest um and I don't I mean I don't know if we can advise you but all we can say is please celebrate people with ADHD because they're freaking amazing um <laughs> and if there are people in their lives that are not celebrating them then then either you know fight them what? <laughs> or bring them up not physically obviously <laughs> I was gonna say well you don't accept people with ADHD <laughs> Sophie um, did you want to say something? yeah just can you hear me all right yeah yeah no I just want to say that just actually having this conversation and your podcast and everything is just so for us it's like a breath of fresh air and it's like oh my god finally you know because it feels like what we've been sensing within the family, but also trying to to help at school with the two ages that we've got, you know, it's it's like oh my god, and you're in our community, which is just amazing. It's like wow, you know, this is going to get out and actually help our life and our family's life because it's just getting out there in the community, and the teachers will be hearing about it. And so, just yeah, that is super amazing thank you <laughs> oh, thank you Sophie yeah. and I think that's one of the things isn't it is my realization I've only you know I've my background is in dementia so still in the brain and certainly th there's a lot of similarities in terms of um sort of that neurodiversity the, the memory stuff and, and all of that so it's it's not unfamiliar to me what what's really interesting I'm going to lose my train of thought no what's really interesting is when <laughs> I didn't I didn't even no, 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 when I said that you have it's gone oh, I was doing really well oh I have no clue what you were talking about <sighs> it's okay I think I've got it I think I've got it I did a little picture over there so that's how the brain works make a little picture um it is around teachers and how many teachers don't know or understand ADHD and that's not their fault um but they don't spot it and they don't see it. Um, and I think that's one of the things that's coming out of this is this realization that there really does need to be more understanding in the education system of actually <laughs> how ADHD brains work and how to, to help spot them in the classroom, but also how to really, really support them well. And I don't know, Carrie, you might want to chip in here. You don't have to at all, but if you wanted to, because I know that you're a TA, aren't you? Yeah, um, but I mean, I'm quite lucky in that the school I work for, they are very much inclusive and very much like behaviour is kind of them identifying either um, so like emotional problems or some kind of neurotypical um, neurodiverse problem. And so I work quite with uh, children with autism and ADHD and I, I've I don't have any formal TA qualifications. Mine is life experience from my son, mm -hmm. but I've—I mean, I had my, I had a review today um, with the headmaster, and he was saying about how much of a great change that I'm making because I'm helping I'm helping the other TAs understand more about that side of thing um, and those kind of behaviours from the children and understand actually they're doing that probably because of a sensory thing or probably because of this and picking up the behaviours that they would just automatically see as bad but the other problem that we you also have is um, is the other parents because they don't have an understanding of these conditions and so they think that any children like that should be pushed away into another school when I've said and what I think they should all be included so that everybody understands everybody and because uh, obviously when you go out in the real world these people are all going to still be around so you need to understand them and all get along and all kind of be more kind of oh right okay that's fine you know rather than that person's just so naughty all the time and things mm -hmm. absolutely I'm trying to explain but I can't <laughs> <laughs> no, it's great. Thank you, Carrie. And it, and it sounds like, you know, you must be you're, you're such an asset to your school. It, and it's interesting that that comes from, you know, you, you having you having a son with it. <laughs> it's like, you know, or, or son, son with autism, I understand, isn't it? Yeah. Um, so he just diagnosed last well, September. He was diagnosed. And now we've started the ADHD um, assessment. So it could be that he's got both. When when I'm like 99 percent sure that he's got both. Yeah. So, and then yeah and it's interesting as well because 
I know it's like they now everyone in the in the family kind of keeps saying oh maybe you've got not ADHD but they think I've got some traits of autism because mm-hmm. they kind of go oh you do the same thing as Arthur and you I'm like oh okay but it's yeah. interesting obviously I've never really noticed it until people start saying like my eating fits and things like that as well so who knows yeah I think it's a really common story thank you so much Karen yeah. for sharing that and I because I put you on the spot then so thank you ever so much for sharing it. I know I'm sorry but I just knew that you'd have something wonderful to say <laughs> <laughs> and, and we're gonna we're gonna come up with yours now carrie if we just read yours you said about struggling with motivation and focus to do something even something you enjoy yeah. and on the flip side amazing creativity yeah so so um that sort of struggling with motivation is is, is such a <laughs> such a strong one isn't it oh. it's mental like you can try and build discipline which it works but that's a that's a very long run fixed you know what I mean like it takes a lot of time to get good at discipline mm-hmm. I'm still very much in the beginning stages of it I'd like to think I'm improving I think you're doing really well because with discipline you don't need motivation no because you you know that what you're doing will benefit you and therefore you will want to do it anyway mm-hmm. even if it will be uncomfortable in the process oh that was a sick sentence oh. keep going so I find that motive. I don't I don't know motivation's a tricky one so you're saying you don't necessarily need to be motivated to do I, so, go on one thing i find with motivation is if you have someone who's trying to do like similar stuff to you just remain in contact like i've like, i'll message my mates just be like yo how are you doing just to check up on them and because we have a conversation it's like oh nice we're in this together we can do it mm-hmm. do you know what i mean it gets you into that nice mindset of just like oh let's go mm-hmm. So collaborations with just your friends and just people is very good. Yeah, that's a really good top tip, isn't it? Is collaborating with others. Motivation is such a hard one. Um, I've had one of those days today, literally no motivation, just literally going round and round and round in circles mm. and getting nothing done and then beating yourself up because you didn't get everything done that you wanted to get done. Work. Yeah, I've got work tomorrow you just okay uh bianca i'm mum of a 13 year old yep we spoke to you um i think that might be oh no struggle time sophie is it oh, time yeah. management yes time management time management the, the thing with adhd is how you can be in a totally different time zone to anybody else um and again something I've struggled with all my life in like oh it's only gonna take 10 minutes and then actually it takes a lot longer than 10 minutes and I used to find that um found that when I was running a business as well it, because people other people would get really <laughs> frustrated with me I'm glad you found it me it's, too. it's a wonder we get through any conversation I don't understand I don't think we do it's really I struggle because I get I get sideswiped and now I don't know what I'm talking about yeah. time I'm talking about time a different space when it comes to time I mean this is a really good example of this earlier today um when I'd said about being here for this yeah and then you came home and I was like yay he's he's here and then you disappeared again yeah but you only had about 20 minutes and you were going to do a day's worth of things what 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 i plan to do today it's a, no plans no plans today no which yeah can be even more of a thing if you haven't got one and and just getting lost in flow and i think that happens often just getting so lost in flow that you have lost hours mm-hmm. but it can be quite wonderful <laughs> but not for everyone else when they're expecting you to do something like complete a report or something not make breakfast drawn an amazing picture instead yeah um so time management i drew an epic picture today okay oh man it was amazing i can't i couldn't tell you what it was okay. it was an i or the letter i mm-hmm. and then some mad luck flipping the jibbities coming off of it, it wasn't that that's epic sorry continue 
I just thought I'd put that out there. It's lovely to it's, know about It was you. amazing painting. Your flippity jibbities. Leon said I had good lines. Okay. I took that as a compliment. I yeah. was like, yeah, these are some pretty nice lines. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Okay. And then Sophie said, celebrating creativity, out of the box thinking, and astute observations of people. That's a really good point, isn't it? Astute. Yeah. Wow. Just being able to and and getting what's going on. Do you do, do you do that? Do I want? What are you able to get what's like, going on? <laughs> <laughs> if you're like observing people and kind of really kind of getting what's happening. What? No. I'm not getting this, but I don't know if this is what you mean, but I can look at people and like, I can just, oh, oh man, I just understand. But I could, there is, that's not, it. Is that it? Yeah. But like, it's it's quite fascinating sometimes. It's a bit like, how do I do that? Why do I just understand so much? Because mm. like, you can tell with not, not necessarily what people are saying, but the way they say certain things, what their intentions are on their general, general beliefs on certain things, even if it's what they're saying or not, you can just, understand man it's, a, it's fascinating yeah that, that yeah that i think yeah sophie's nodding is that a neural divergent thing or is that just people is i it... think it is yeah 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 I, sorry i just yeah absolutely that that we've noticed with with rafi who's 13 and like he'll often pick up on something before i or something i'm feeling or about to before i've even noticed i'm feeling he's like um, you know, it's really, really interesting. It's definitely to do with his brain <laughs> firing. Yeah, mm. amazing. That's some kind of intuition. Mm. It's, a, it's just such a fast brain. That's the thing, isn't it? Everything's working so, so fast. Information's being, it's coming in really quickly and, and being dealt with. Um, yeah, I was going to say something else, but I lost it. I going to be Alice now. So your struggle is emotional control, regulation, organization, having a conversation properly. Oh. Okay, so let's stop. So stop there with the struggle, because uh, Alice, are you? Can I? Can I get you on off mute? Yeah. So um, tell us a bit more about that if you want to. Um, that's fine. Let me just read, read what I said. Sorry. Um, <laughs> Take so, your time. Uh, so um, this is the first bit, right? The struggle thing. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. So um, so with the emotions, the emotional side is a struggle for a couple of reasons. The first reason is because I feel so. This is about me. Uh, my so I am. Um. Oh my God. I'm thirty two now. So, right, yeah, so I'm what could be seen as an adult, mature, whatever. <laughs> um, and um, up until the point of being medicated, I had a very poor control over my emotional reactions to things. Mm -hmm. um, which So the, the first thing that was a problem was the embarrassment of that, because it's like, hang on a minute, you're not a child, why are you having a tantrum sort of thing? Mm -hmm. Or I don't know if people thought that, they probably did. I thought that as well. Like, I'd be really embarrassed after said... Um, situation um so the yeah so the, the kind of up and downness of it people always go oh you bipolar it's like no they always you, there's always that assumption but it's the kind of I don't know if anyone else has it but it's you can be in one mood and then yeah another mood then a seconds later seemingly so um that's quite a that's a struggle to deal with mm -hmm. um especially when you don't really know why it's happening so I've been trying to explore that like I've been looking into it and trying to like get on top of things hopefully without medication in the future so that is um is what i meant by that because yeah it's just it's a bit of a roller coaster just being kind of up and down all the time and not uh, mm. doing something you wouldn't necessarily expect to, to do because of yeah. the emotion that just come up and people say well, there's this thing i can't remember what it is that there's some you might know about it in your work but there's like some sequence of stuff so you, there's a thought and then something and something and then you end up doing something but it's quick right so yeah is getting the control over that so mm -hmm. that is a struggle um well sort of organization uh, yeah. oh have we stopped oh oh it's us it's us uh -oh. i'm just gonna we're back, we're back. Yeah. sorry alice we we, dis <laughs> we disappeared i was just yeah i was just kind of waving because i heard you saying that you'd stopped but you hadn't ah. stopped Okay. Oh, oh spooky. Yeah, yeah. You you hadn't stopped for me. You'd stop for you, I think, or I'd stop for you. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, um, 
Alice, are you happy for me to just ask about meds a minute? Because are you on meds now? Uh, I am. I am taking them. Uh, they're not in effect right now because okay. I, take them, I take them early so I can get myself free work and whatever else. So obviously it doesn't last until this time at night. But yes, I am um, taking them at the moment. Yeah. But I don't want to always necessarily take them, mm. to be honest. Yeah. So because Ilias, Ilias had had time on meds and um, could be on them now, but has decided not to. Yeah. Just after you spent like hundred or quid on a bottle, that's when I decided that I don't. No, want I don't want that anymore. It's interesting yeah. because a lot of people were like, "Oh, it's and it is, it is a game changer." But it's like I don't want to rely on it, and there's nothing wrong with relying. I don't want to sound like I'm med shaming because no. there's absolutely nothing wrong with it, but. For me personally, I want to have, I don't want to just go, oh, that's fine. I could just take this for the rest of my life because what if one day, this is the what if. So so one day I'll go and have a checkup and they're like, oh, it's made your blood pressure go up. You can't take that anymore. And then what right. if I'm just like back to square one? I can't think of. So I want to have the other stuff yeah. in my uh, armory, my toolkit, whatever you want to call it. I want to have the other stuff so I can be like, oh, okay. So maybe I can't take this medication but I have at least I have this thing that I've learned how to do mm -hmm. to control stuff so um yeah so it might I might take them forever I might not I don't know but it's not the I don't want it to be the only thing that I use because I feel like that's just not gonna help me long term to just be like yeah. this is it yeah does that make any sense yeah no it totally does and um i think what we're learning from from reading and from also talking to people is that that it seems to be really common for people with adhd to to use the meds for a while and then stop and then come back to them and then stop yeah, and certainly yeah. that's that's the cycle we have with Ilias because um what will often happen is or not often but what we've noticed in the cycle is that it's tricky life becomes really tricky it becomes really difficult to do anything and then you fall back on the meds take yeah. them for a while get right back into then doing all the things that he knows is really good for him yeah but that happens with him. the last time I tried that it didn't work okay it didn't because I took it one time and I was like oh hands are clammy I'm anxious I can't get on a train without thinking everyone's looking at me yeah the thing is the one thing I'm really like I take pride in is my confidence mm -hmm. like I'll be walking to my mate's house I'll just be singing to myself beatboxing just like rapping or whatever yeah. I don't care if someone hears me across the road and it's like oh he's a bit weird okay I'm enjoying myself you know what I mean but when I'm on the meds it's like oh that person could be thinking okay. about me this person you know what I mean it's yeah. like, I don't want that at all no. it takes away a bit of your personality yeah or dulls it down or something kind of like a robot dull down yeah which is possibly part of the port when the, the way the doctors are looking at it or psychiatrists that might be part of what they're thinking is that oh if that person is hyperactive it's going to make them less hyperactive but then does it take away some of who you actually are because part of this is who we are as well so it's yeah it's finding a balance that I haven't found I don't know if I'll ever find the balance you know it's not it's not and it, I'm not like expecting to but it's mm -hmm. Um, yeah finding some sort of balance where it's like because the other thing I think about as well is what is actually a problem and what's what doesn't matter in, in right. you know what I mean yeah, absolutely and who are we medicating for <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah 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 that's it that's um, it and a lot of it for me is for my my work colleagues and stuff like that um, right. so yeah what's 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 the issues and what is just just is yeah, you know, it just doesn't really like like so. So uh, for me, like I've written down some issues there of things that those are things that affect me and affect people around me. So that's things that I want to work work on. Yeah. But then you've got stuff like I'm just looking at my door and I've got a paddling pool hanging off the back of my door, and I'm like, does that matter? Like that's not upsetting me. I live here, and that's my pad, my door, and my paddling pool. If it's there, and but you know, like that kind of thing. It's, obviously, that's to do with with organisation, but I don't. That's not upsetting me. So yeah. do I need to be stressed about that? Do I need to think, oh, well, I need to go go somewhere else because it's not organised and it doesn't look good there or whatever. Like, pick I your back. Do you know what I mean? Level. Did you? Oh, that, I completely resonated with absolutely everything you just said. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's nice to hear people say they resonate as well because, you know, sometimes when you talk and people just, like, look at you and they're like, what? No, what are you talking about? Oh, <laughs> <shut up. laughs> yeah, literally. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Yeah. Um, that yeah I'm my train of thought's gone now but yeah um what I wrote down is the thing that I wanted to say but then I just said 
that. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, uh, thank you, Alice. This is just so wonderful. I just feel my heart is so full. I just this is just so so special for me um, to to be engaging in these conversations. <laughs> I'm such a mum, she says. But I but it is. I mean, if you don't have these conversations, there's nobody to talk about this stuff with, and it's really important that yeah. we do. And I just think you know, they're um. They're really important conversations and I love that. I love hearing about your paddling pool on the back of your door. <laughs> it's like, it's really wonderful. <laughs> it's just like, like I say, who cares? Like, oh, well, it's my house. So I've got the paddling pool there. It's, it's not going exactly. anywhere anytime soon because it's been there for months exactly. and it's not negatively affecting me or anybody else. So let it stay there and let me deal with the stuff that mm. matters, you know? It's um it's really interesting and 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 because we've got Bianca here as as and this is exactly what I wanted is to have a real exactly. mix of huh exactly oh you've done it again I've done it again I'm not going to listen to exactly him what you wanted was what my mix point of... is um I really wanted this mix of of people with ADHD and those that are loving or living with somebody with ADHD or those that are just interested in ADHD because we need more of those people don't we people who are just bloody interested just want to learn a bit more about it and understand it um and I know from 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 our life <laughs> sorry sorry I couldn't help I know from our life, you know, we have obviously we have Darren in our life, who's my husband, um, Ilias's stepdad, and we and actually we should have got him to join today because we've had really deep conversations around this realization that when you're living with somebody or people with ADHD, then life can be quite tricky from that point of view as well, and, and understanding that maybe things aren't going to be quite as you expected that they would be um and I know that he's been through a process of realizing that jobs might not get done <laughs> certainly at the time that they might be expected to be got done and that that can cause frustration and, and it also can people can feel quite lonely in that as well if the whole family <laughs> have ADHD or autism um so, and that's kind of what, again another reason to have this conversation to understand what's going on, how we can help people with ADHD, but also how we can help the helpers of people with ADHD too, so that you know we can let some things go that that you know can just be let go. I'm um, just sorry. Is um, there anything that you want to add? <laughs> um... Have I put you on the spot? Oh, no, I just can't remember anything you just said. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You can talk about something completely I was different. listening, but then it got to a point where... You zoned out. Yeah, because I don't know if anyone else gets this, but when someone's talking, it gets to a point where it's like, oh, yes, information going in brain. But then it's at a certain point, they're switching, it's just like, oh, noise. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And oh, yeah. Ev everybody here might be feeling the same. Like, what the hell did she just say? I don't know. Just nod. <laughs> and I do it myself. It's I, found, I found your washing basket example really helpful. So I think you were talking about how you forget to get the washing out of the washing machine. And um, that Darren leaves it in the hallway as a reminder. Yes. And it's the sort of thing I naturally do anyway, because of my background. And also I just need visual cues to remember yes. to do things like there's no way with everything that goes on in my busy life, I can remember everything. Yes. I've always got to have something visual. So if, if I've got empty the washing machine, I always have the washing machine door open because it's a yes. hidden one. So it's just like little prompts or if I want to make sure I eat healthily, I always put my cereal on the side before I go to bed. So I remember that's what I want to eat the next morning. Yeah. Um, and it's little things like that make such a difference. Rather than arguing about who's going to empty the washing machine, just leave the basket in the hallway. And it's just about the environment, isn't it? And making it work for you as a family rather than we should be able to remember it. So let's yeah. just keep battling. This. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Well, let's try something else. Yeah, because it's just, it's not going to happen. Ilias is playing with my timer, hence the noise. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it, it is. And for me, exactly the same. Everything has to be visual for me. So, um, you know, I have sticky notes and all sorts and things to remember things. And I always, when I'm on my computer, I do leave a lot of tabs open. 
Oh, mine is horrifying. I'll look on your phone and I'll go into like the little switcher tabs where all the apps are open and I'll be like, oh my God, you're not closing any of your apps. Hey, hey. Your because, brand must be so ridiculous. Yeah, because I haven't finished. That's why. None of those things have I finished. So like, and then when I sit down at my computer, I just open a tab and go, oh yeah, I see I was designing this. So I'll carry on doing that. Or like, oh, I'll swap a tab now. Oh yes, account. Oh yes, I'm meant to be I remember. Last 10 minutes. <laughs> absolutely that <laughs> right i'm gonna have a quick look at the um at the chats um bianca saying i vote alice for the podcast alice maybe we should have you on as a guest on the podcast if you fancied it you'd be very welcome to come along i have not adhd is strong with you the scissor fiddling has been going oh, I'm an absolute nightmare it's, it's <laughs> that, yeah i can't not it's like a nice object that i feel like then like it would just be it was literally this isn't even a thing it was they were just here and so there when my hand went and they would be, yeah, you're right. It's quite a nice one. That is quite a nice yeah, one. Not too easy either. So yeah, a bit sharp, maybe. Depending oh, yeah. on but that had a little bit of excitement. You know what I mean? It, yeah. Like, yeah. Risk Living danger. Increases yeah. reward. Oh uh, yeah, you're right. But yeah, scissors are a good one, but I'm going to put them down because that might be annoying people. But that's a good, it, it's, that's not a reason to put them down though. Not here, Alice. You can keep uh, going. See, see, this is what I do. I'm always like, oh, I don't want to annoy people, but. I suppose nobody here is going to think that. No. So keep on with the scissors. Thank you. You can keep fiddling with your scissors. Keep fiddling. <laughs> <laughs> interesting, interesting point as well around um fiddle, fiddle, what are they called? Fiddle, what? <laughs> fiddle toys. Fiddle, what are they called? Fidget things. Fidget, fidget um, toys. Fidget things. Yeah. I used to have a fidget dodecahedron. Oh my God, that was heaven. 12 sides it was. 12 oh, wow. sides, the fidget toy. I was like, oh my goodness. And so even some of the fidget, like some of the sides had more than one fidgetable thing on it. And I was like, oh my God, it's fidget heaven. I remember in French lessons specifically, because that was the only lesson that I was allowed to have it out because everyone else was like, no. Right. And that's why I can say, je suis la reine d'Angleterre. Do you know what I mean? No. I am the queen of England. And I remember that specifically. <laughs> Thanks to the fidget toy. Yeah. Yeah. Everything. I learned. I know green and French. Yeah. <laughs> Your French teacher was one of the teachers that got you. Actually, there was a guy and he used to let you draw. I know him. Miss. Oh, what's his name? I don't. I, but I remember going to a parents' evening and he, he, he just said how great you were. Yeah, he was a nice guy. He wasn't bothered about the French at all. He just used to let you draw. Yeah, he was just kind of like, oh, he's in there. Which is like, great. That's why you're so fluent. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know any of it anymore. Uh, my goodness. Okay. So let's just, because it is time to finish. We've got, we've been going for an hour. Oh, I thought we would struggle to find something to talk about for an hour. Yeah. Hey, we could just keep on we've managed it so i guess it's time to say a really big thank you and thank you so much for coming along and listening and 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 talking to us because that's exactly what we wanted is to hear from you so i hope that it's been useful um, yeah definitely it has um someone else said but this kind of thing is really valuable for people in the community just people in general because like it's just a safe space where you can just say whatever and however it comes out tends to be fine with everyone else and that kind of thing and people other people understand how you get stuff across and all that kind of thing and we all maybe have a similar way of doing it so yeah I am um, I really like stuff like this um so thank you thank you for taking time out of your evening to do it uh well stay close um if you're not in the is everybody in the Facebook group the celebrating ADHD Facebook group yeah yeah they can um there should be a frequent occurrence i think do you think yeah. it should be a frequent this occurrence? so maybe it could be okay we will definitely have a think about that and um we'll be in touch in the facebook group so thank you so much it's been really really helpful to hear from you and as i said my heart is full listening to your stories thank you thank, thank you, you very so much. much it's been very interesting but funny and good <laughs> agreed yeah Okay. I don't want to go because I don't want to lose the chat. So I'm going to have to just save the chat. But do feel free to go. Everyone. I'll be here for another five minutes. Bye. 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 There we go. Save chat. There we are.